She's a Mona Lisa. Hey guys, it's Jade Rose. I am a serial addicted, French fashion loving London girl. I want to start this video by saying there is nothing wrong with thigh fat. Thigh, thigh fat. In fact, thighs are gorgeous. There are multiple ways of having banging bodies and yeah, we have to all admit the aesthetic of having, you know, curvy bottom half is, you know, gorgeous. But I know we all have different preferences and I'm someone who's very slim. I have pretty slender legs and I get this question all the time time. As most of you know before I was much bigger and today I'm going to tell you how I got slimmer legs and how I lost weight in my thighs. I'm going to talk about my relationship with my legs if that's a thing. Before we start I want to say I would love for you to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy the video. That way you're telling YouTube that you like my videos and then yeah you'll see more of me. So I mentioned in one of my other videos that I was a bigger girl but I was a curvy girl at first and I quite liked that. In fact no I, I loved it. It made me feel sexy and empowered and I felt like a woman. And I really wanted to, you know, come across like I was older and more mature. And obviously I got attention from guys as well, which was, you know, a plus. However, then I started to gain more weight and it was not in the right places. It literally came out of nowhere and yeah, I was suddenly pretty big. I already told you guys in a previous video about, you know, the guy who called me fat and... Yeah, I mean, from then I definitely knew I had like belly fat problems, but I never really thought about my thighs. Like I'm not that gal that compared my thighs to everyone and thought like, you know, I couldn't wear shorts or anything. I always wore what I wanted to wear. Yeah, so I never really thought about thighs until summer came. You know, it's the first day of summer, everyone's coming to school with their legs out, wearing their short shorts. And at the time, these American apparel kind of bodycon, you know, black dresses were really, really in. So obviously, I wore one. It was kind of riding up and I was kind of pulling it down quite a bit, but I mean, I didn't feel particularly uncomfortable in it until my friend, friend, literally looked at me and said, oh, I thought you had nicer legs than that. What am I meant to do with that? You know, in my last video, I kind of talked about these kind of friends that you need to just get rid of. And luckily at the time I was smart enough to realize that she was saying it out of kind of not jealousy, but yeah, yeah, jealousy actually. She was saying it basically because she didn't like her thinness. I was actually the biggest girl in my group of friends, but I didn't have a problem with it. I actually quite liked that I was the biggest girl because I was the most curviest. And I think that she felt insecure about how skinny she was and how kind of straight down she was. And once she kind of saw my kind of, I guess, weakness in, you know, like jiggly fires. She wanted to point it out and she wanted to make a statement about it. And the rest of that day, I just suddenly felt like with every step that I took, I really felt, you know, my fires moving and jiggling and touching. Now, it didn't make me feel incredibly insecure about my legs, but it did make me think twice about what I was wearing. I know there is a lot of you guys out there who probably feel like, can't wear shorts, can't wear skirts, can't wear even jeans maybe. From there, I just got bigger and bigger. I don't even have a picture of me at my biggest because I would have never let anyone take a picture of me at that point. But you can see like the differences in, you know, my legs now and my legs then. To lose weight in your thighs, you have to lose weight overall. You can't like specifically pinpoint a certain place and lose weight in that place. You can tone up in that place, which we're going to talk about in a bit, but you cannot lose weight in one place. So when I lost weight and I got slimmer legs, it was actually because I lost overall weight. My arms, my stomach, my face, everything. So if you want slimmer legs, you're going to have to a little bit. Try not to obsess over one part of the body. Focus on your overall health. Because honestly, that is the worst way you can go. I have literally made so many mistakes. I was trying to do a fad diet. I was trying to over restrict my food. So many stupid things I did. All of those kind of get slim quick things. You have to focus on the long term goal. You've got to make those little decisions every day to just be healthy, make better choices. When you pick up an apple instead of an Oreo, mm. you're making that choice. And don't see it as deprivation. See it as a form of self-love, caring for yourself. I've always felt kind of nervous talking about weight loss on my YouTube channel because I know that the body positivity movement is just so, so much more popular nowadays. And I know that intentional weight loss goes against the whole body positivity movement. But at the end of the day, I just don't see it as that. I see it as taking care of yourself. I see being healthy and making better choices as a form of self-love. We only have one body and we should fuel it the best where we can so we can last, you know, a lifetime. As well as making healthy decisions, you still want to be a bit mindful of the calorie intake. So for example, an avocado is really, really healthy. 
but eating two avocados is gonna be a lot of calories. I would just get maybe familiar with the kind of calories that are in certain foods. I wouldn't necessarily say to definitely calorie count to lose weight. You can, because that does help for some people. But for me, I just portion controlled and drastically reduced the amount of sugar in my diet. So if I'm portion controlling the things I normally eat, it's like, you know, I know for a fact that I'm having less calories. I just felt like it was the most, you know, sustainable approach, you know. And sugar wise, I only really crave sugar when I start eating it again. So when I start eating it, I want more and more and more. But then when I get into that routine of not eating sugar, it's like it doesn't even exist. I completely forget about it and I don't have any cravings whatsoever. Another part of me getting slim legs was getting more toned legs as well. I mean, it's great for them to like, you know, reduce size, but at the end of the day, depending on what kind of jiggle that you have, I mean, I had a lot, so I definitely needed to tone up. You do not have to exercise to lose weight in your thighs, but if you also want to have that slender, sleek, you know, no jiggle kind of look, then you are going to have to do some exercise. For me, just walking, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, moving more, those things kind of help like accelerate the weight loss because it's like, you know, cardio and movement. And then it gave me kind of a little bit of tone as well I mean I feel like when you walk upstairs you know working out your bum a bit when I started getting into actual modeling I realized oh need a lot less jiggle to tone up you have to do exercises that build your muscle once you start building that muscle it just gets tighter and tighter to kind of kill two birds in one stone and get cardio and a, like toning exercise I did these kind of like step ups I would go step up and down on the step and as you step obviously it's like going up the stairs you're kind of you know working your bum but it's also like fast, so it's kind of like cardio, like lunges and cardio put together. And I would do that for 30 or 40 minutes a couple times a week. It definitely, definitely helped to sculpt my body, but God, it was boring. Now that I know much more about exercise, now I know there are much, much more effective exercises. I want to just say though, obviously this video is about having slim legs, right? So you want to build muscle and tone up, but you don't want to bulk up or be too bulky, I would assume, if you clicked on this video. So there are certain exercises that you'll want to like avoid. Well, I personally avoided. So for example, I don't do squats because the way they build your thighs aren't really what I'm looking for. I do thigh work workouts, I do lunges. Lunges are great. And in my experience, depending on how many I do, I can tone up so nicely without bulking myself up. Just to clarify though, there is nothing wrong with muscle or having bigger thighs. Obviously this video is about, you know, having slim legs. Leg raises are also an amazing exercise. Definitely, definitely have a go at those as well. Oh, and it's important that you're eating a fair amount of protein as well. How much depends on like a lot of things, your age, your height, your weight. My favorite sources of protein are cheese, yogurt, beans. I don't eat chicken that much, but chicken is a really effective source of protein. Nuts are an amazing source of protein as well, but obviously they are loaded in calories. You definitely don't want to go overboard with the nuts. If you want to build or shape your bum at the same time, but you want to still have nice and slim legs, you've got to be careful. Squats, of course, are like the number one thing that people go to. They are going to build your bum, but for people like me, you're definitely going to get bulky your thighs. I mean, I build muscle really, really easily. So I personally do donkey kicks because I know for a fact that that does not bulk up my thighs, but it definitely, definitely whew, it gives my bum that shape. And obviously if you want a bigger bum, you have to do other things, but that's, you know, that's a whole nother video. If you have any questions about that, you can always connect with me over on Instagram. Actually, if you have any video ideas even, you can always message me on Instagram and tell me what you think and tell me your ideas. I might actually do a whole video of my workout routine, so let me know if you want to see that. If you already have quite a lot of muscle in your legs and you want to slim that down, if you are already doing some sort of exercise, you'll probably want to switch up your exercise routine. I already talked about squats. If you have squats in your routine, you'll probably want to, you know, just in general, switching from exercises that build on your thighs so much or use that same muscle quite a lot. Even running, if you run every day and you're just using that muscle over and over and over again, you're gonna build that muscle and it can be, you know, very nice and slender or, you know, it can, you know, start bulking your legs up. So you even wanna switch from exercises that don't build up so much muscle or if you just enjoy the exercise that you're doing, you can lower the intensity. If you run five times a week, maybe you can cut it down to maybe two times or three times a week. So let's say if you do 10 reps of weighted squats, you can just go weightless instead. In general, guys, just remember to love your legs. Like I said before, we only get one pair of legs in our lifetime. They've got to last us 80, 90, maybe even 100 years. So definitely take care of them. If we start toning up our legs now, when we are pensioners, we'll still have nice tight legs. I can't wait until I'm like 80 and I'm walking around the nursing home and I have you know, 
I know, Omi Campbell legs. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Definitely, definitely get at me and tell me what other videos that you want to see. And I will see you in the next video. She's a Mama Lisa.